All right, hey everyone. This is a uh, Epsilon 144. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a psychedelic trance or psy trance, also kind of known as Goa. I don't know if there's a distinct difference between the genres, but um, you know, there's that bass line you hear in a lot of those trance tunes that's super like outer space sounding, and um, yeah, it's one of like the most outer space sounding like bass lines. It kind of like wobbles, but then it goes up in frequency. And then it comes back down, so you can kind of like, if you know Psytrance, you know what I'm talking about. And I found a way to make it, if you're interested in making this uh, style of bass line for Psytrance. Um, and let's get started, all right? I'm using FL Studio, but if you have a similar synth in a different program, you can use that synth, all right? So what I'm using is uh, here in this um, VST called Harmless, I'm using a synth that sounds like this. Okay, so that's what I'm using right now. Um, and basically all you're gonna do is just modulate this frequency of the synth. So you're gonna start low and you're gonna get higher and higher and higher like that using this frequency knob, okay? So to show this, I'm going to get my headphones on and just record something real quickly in uh, this, in this uh, pattern to go into the playlist, all right? Okay, so there's a basic one. If you notice the, it was really low, and that's because the um, the frequency knob was turned down. All right, so I'm gonna quantize this real quick, so I get everything lined up on the correct bars. So there, it's perfectly in tempo on beat, and now I'm gonna pop that into the playlist, and you'll notice that is super low. So I'm gonna turn the frequency up a little bit, and I'm gonna link the frequency to a MPD I have here. So now I'm hands, you know, I'm playing with uh, my MPD right here, right? So with this, now you'll notice that it starts to sound kind of crazy as you bring it up, all right? Check it out. Okay, so that's how it's working. Um, it's kind of the, the notes take away from it, so I'm going to uh, just make it one super long, maybe two, just two super long notes uh, that are gonna go like that for eight, eight measures or eight bars. Okay, and I'll show you again. And this time I'm, I'm gonna record what I do so we can keep it going, all right? Um, I'm gonna record it directly into this pattern and yeah, so using this one, let's do it one more time. So you got it now with the recording. And you can do this with an automation clip so you can kind of automate that frequency bend, but that's just not as cool, you know. You want to actually use like a knob or something. Uh you know, like writing in cuz then like you understand what you're doing and then if you want to perform live and actually automate not automate but actually uh change the frequency live in front of an audience, you can you know how to do it now. So you're not just standing up there DJing and like your hands are like, uh, you know, like you're actually playing an instrument. So it's good to learn how to actually do this with hardware or controllers. Um, and yeah, so like I said, that you can automate that if you want to automate it. Um, I'm gonna make another one, so I'm gonna clone that, but this one's uh, well, it's gonna have it on there. But if you want to automate it, you just have to come in here and then right click on that and do create automation clip. So instead of linking it to the controller. You want to create an automation clip and then now there's a clip in here all right and then you can you know kind of right click and add um, things in into it like this 
if you right click you add an extra dot and then a left click moves the dot the right click is going to open up options so you can have like a double curve whatever you know um, but right clicking adds a little dot in a little point uh, like a data point I guess whatever and then left clicking you're able to move but you see these are all double curves so I set them to be double curves so they're just single curve and now you know you can uh, you know do it like that but that's a lot you know, it's honestly harder but if you don't have a controller or a hardware this is how you do it but I recommend the hardware way so you actually get the hang of like playing an instrument with your fingers like the way you're supposed to <laughs> anyway so this is what it sounds like And um, yeah, so once again, it's this synth right here. It's uh, called the Lucky Immersion 1G in Harmless. So you have to get this Harmless uh, VST. And then as a preset, you want to come to this Lucky Immersion uh, synth right here. And then you want to get you want to get it lower into the lower octaves. Um, if you play in the higher octaves, it just sounds it still sounds spacey, but it sounds too poppy. You know, if you bring it down to the lower octaves, it kind of has that more go uh, side trance sound to it. Um, and yeah, that's how you do it. So um, you can add a, a beat to this now, you know, a punch in. I, I don't have any like trance kicks. I have all these hip hop kicks from Evil Needle. But you know, you can you can side chain this onto a kick drum, you know, so it kind of like comes through like wom, 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 like that. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of a little quick way to make a side trance bass line. It sounds really good with the, with the whole song in it together. So thank you for watching. <laughs> so you can get creative all right that was me just i was i was doing that with my hand on the knob all right but you can record anything you want once you understand the recording process which is just using this record for patterns or this record for audio audio clips uh, in FL Studio. So I hope this was helpful um, in helping you make Psy or Go Out Trance. Uh, it's a really cool genre that I think not a lot of people make or know how to make in general. So uh, this is a cool tip to help you. And uh, I hope you have a good day, y'all. Uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment or you can uh, email me on my website. I have other tutorial videos about like drum and bass and just the uh, the layout of FL Studio, uh, as well as um, Ableton music theory, like how to play a blues scale. If you want to learn how to play blues, I have videos that teach that. I have a ton of videos on my website, so go to epsilon144.com and find those. And uh, thank you for watching this, y'all. Take care. Have a good day. Peace out.